What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I collected some of your questions and comments regarding my scholarship application experience here in South Korea. So I'm sure that some of you have watched my videos about my scholarship experience here in Korea and also I provided some updates regarding my life as a student. So I noticed that some of you have similar questions and that's why I decided to collect all your questions and make this Q&A video. So let's start reading your questions. The first comment is from YouTube and it was posted by Jay Emerald. Hi Po, I've been watching videos on how I can apply for a scholarship in Korea. And I saw your videos and I was planning to study in Korea since I'm an incoming college student. Hoo hoo. So hoo hoo is like, you know, crying. So it's my dream po to study in Korea, but this pandemic made it impossible to come true. But it's all according to God's will. Well, first of all, Jay Emerald, thank you for your comment. Um, I do understand that this pandemic makes it difficult for everyone, but don't think that it's impossible for your dream, dream to come true. Uh, like what you mentioned, it's all according to God's will. And I would say that you still give it a try and submit your application. Um, I'm sure that if you give your 100% and like what you said, if it's according to God's will, then Nothing is impossible and I'm sure you can achieve your goals. So good luck on your application. Our next comment is also from YouTube. It was posted by Catherine Joy Flores. Hi Sherwin, I accidentally browsed your videos since you reacted to SB19. So I think some of you might have watched my reaction videos. If you haven't yet, please make sure to watch my videos and press like. And I must say that I'm so lucky to watch this video regarding on getting a scholarship in Korea. For the record, I was supposed to be an exchange student twice, 2010 and 2014. However, for some reasons, the university I attended to did not allow me in 2010 since I was only 17 that time and they believed that I was too young to study for three years away from my family. The second attempt was in 2014, in which out of 20 shortlisted in school, I was one of the four exchange students. However, since it was my last year in the university and I was aiming and getting a job, I refused the offer in which until now, I, it keeps bothering me and been asking myself all the what ifs I have. Too much information, I'm sorry. As a fellow Filipino, what do you think is the best scholarship option for me, given the fact that it's almost seven years since I finished my schooling? Thank you for your question and for your comment, Catherine. First of all, I don't think that it's a negative thing that you graduated seven years ago. Actually, for my case, I submitted my POSCO application in 2018, and I finished my bachelor's degree in 2010. So still, I was able to get the scholarship. So I don't think that the scholarship foundation will take that against you. And perhaps you should highlight the experiences that you gathered or you acquired during those seven years. I don't know, you didn't really tell me what you did during those seven years, but maybe you worked or maybe you engaged in other activities. So just, you know, tell them more about it and tell them that even though it's not really connected with school, I'm sure that you were able to improve yourself and you were able to become a better person um, from those experiences and from the knowledge that you acquired within those seven years. So. Don't be worried, um, still give it a try, like what, I, like what I always say, and don't be afraid of those small things because I'm sure that more than that, um, the Scholarship Foundation will look at your objectives and really the main reason as to why you want to pursue your studies in Korea. And you mentioned that you refused the offer for you to go on exchange program and until now you regret it. So actually, that's one of the main reasons why when someone asks me for advice, I always say that go ahead and give it a try. Because at the end of the day, um, I would rather fail and know that this opportunity is not for me instead of me not trying or refusing or giving up and regretting after that. I think it's really difficult to cope with regret because you have a lot of what ifs and you always think about it, you know, what if I tried, what if I applied, but those questions cannot be answered anymore because the opportunity is already gone. So for you, 
don't worry if you graduated seven years ago go ahead give it a try and give your 100 percent so good luck on your application katrine so for our next question it also came from youtube it's from grace may ibanez hello nagbibigay po ba sila ng scholarship for a nursing student so thank you grace for your question so as far as i know like for kgsp and for posco recently um, they support any other majors as long as you apply to a university when they have this agreement for the scholarship then whatever major you apply for it should be supported by the foundation or the organization and as far as i know as well um, it depends really on the like the list so you can check the list of universities and the majors especially for kgsp as far as i remember they um, provide this complete list of universities and the majors that they support. Um, I remember I also have a friend, um, she's a KGSP scholar and her major is dentistry. So yeah, I think, you know, medicine field or sciences, life sciences, those majors are supported. Okay, our next question is also from YouTube. It was posted by Ang. Hello, thank you for this informative video. It really helps a lot. I would just like to ask if 1.75 GPA ko and bala ko mag-apply for Master sa Korea through this scholarship. Eligible po ba? So thank you Ang for your question and the person was asking if 1.75 GPA is accepted and if it's fine if he or she tries to apply for the scholarship. Well definitely yes, the answer is yes. And as far as I know, um, there's a certain requirement for the GPA, but it's not really that high. As far as I remember, it's 80%, but please double check as they might have updated that. But for me, my GPA was just 2.07, but still I was able to get the POSCO scholarship. The next question is also from YouTube. It was from Rizalina Mercado. Hello, I'm 20 years old and I want to study in Korea. I'm a K-12 graduate, is it possible for me to study in Korea as an undergrad college or undergraduate? Sorry for my English. For KGSP, yes. Undergraduate programs are supported. I even know a Filipino who studies at Yonsei University and he is a KGSP scholar and he's taking his engineering undergraduate major at Yonsei University. So yes, it's possible and definitely you can apply for undergraduate program. Our next question is from Aiko Haro. Hello, I'm from the Philippines. I graduated May 2017 and I'm planning to take post-grad studies or master's in my field, which is physical therapy. May I know if anong field of study small and magagamit mo ba siya to work there after you finish your master's? Thank you. Thank you for your question, Aika. And to answer, I studied Master of Arts in International Studies. My major is international trade, but I took a minor in Korea and East Asia studies. And for your next question, if I can use my major here in Korea to find a job, definitely yes. Um, most of the companies here in Korea want people who graduated from a Korean university. I think that it's totally usable and I can use my degree to apply for different positions in different company. Our next question is from Christina Tapang. Hello, thank you for sharing this very informative and inspiring experience in this video. Ask ko lang po sana if anong month po open yung application for POSCO and ano po yung official website nila to get more updates. Thank you po. Thank you as well for watching my video and for your question, Christina. Normally, POSCO posts the announcement in December and from January, you can start sending your application through email. So you can check uh, www.postf.org and you can go to the notice section and normally they post the announcement there with the guideline. It's like a word file where you can check all the application documents that you need to send them via email. So good luck on your application, Christina. Our next question is from Uu. Hello po, I plan to take college in South Korea. Full tuition po ba yung scholarship? Thank you po. Yes, the scholarship of POSCO and KGSP are full tuition scholarship. It means that they pay for your tuition fee for four semesters 
and they pay for your monthly allowance that's 900 US dollars or 1 million Korean won and you should use that money for your living expenses such as your house, food, transportation, etc. From now I'll be reading the messages that you guys sent me through my Instagram account and I will not be including your names because these are personal messages. So the first one Hello there, I watched your YouTube video on scholarship in Korea and I got to know that you had received POSCO Asia Fellowship. My university also recommended me for this scholarship and I have my phone interview scheduled this Wednesday. I would be grateful to you if you would let me know what sort of questions they ask on interview based on your experience. Thank you in advance and good day. So as far as I remember, they asked me about my study plan as well as my career goals after I finish my master's degree in South Korea. They might also ask you questions about your major and why you chose Korea and how it will be beneficial for you and your home country once you finish your master's degree here. Our next question is, Good morning po! Kunwari nakagraduate na ako sa course ko dito sa Pilipinas, tapos gusto ko mag-master's degree sa Korea. Pwede ba yun? Well, definitely you can apply for your postgraduate or master's degree after you finish your bachelor's degree in the Philippines. And of course, it still depends on the guideline of the university or the foundation or the scholarship program that you'll be applying for. And I recommend that you check the website and double check the requirements because some of them might have different qualifications depending on the program. Our next question is, Hi Sherwin, I saw your videos on YouTube about KJSP. I'm planning to apply on KJSP, but I have a concern regarding my GPA. It's 2.53% and it equates to 80 to 82% in our university. Do you think I have chances for the scholarship? I'm also planning to apply for MA in International Studies. So yes, um, I've mentioned this earlier. Um, you can apply as long as your GPA is, I think, more than 80%. And more than that, I recommend that you take the language certificate exams such as IELTS, TOEFL, or TOPIC so that they can help you in improving your profile. But yeah, um, with your GPA, I don't think it's an issue and you should still try and submit your application. So for our next question, Hello Sir Sherwin, I came across your video on YouTube about being a POSCO scholar. I was really inspired by your story. If I may ask, what did you take for your undergrad studies? Congratulations on finishing your master's degree. So thank you. Um, my undergrad major is banking and finance and I obtained that from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines or PUP in Santa Mesa, Manila. So yeah, I'm glad that I inspired someone and I hope that if it's also your dream to study here, don't be afraid and try to submit your application because who knows, right? If it's for you, then it will be given to you. And for our last question, hello sir, good PM. Been watching your vlog, Katapos Lampo. Sir, pwede magtanong? Interested po ako to study here. I'm currently E9 visa holder at factory worker, pero patapos na ako next year ng February. Bala ko pa magstay dito sa Korea and want to study here. Sir, pwede mo ba akong tulungan and please give me some tips to have a chance to study here. Salamat in advance. So thank you for your question and I'm not sure if you watched my previous video but I mentioned there that I was also an E9 visa holder and yes, I worked in a factory here in Korea th for three years before I became a student. So I like that you are exploring more options and you're not stopping from you know, being an E9 visa holder and finishing your contract. So that's a very good way of thinking. So for your situation, since you will be ending your contract in February, you need to find a university right now. Uh, make sure you check the websites of each universities and check their application period. But I think some of them are open for application now and you can study by spring 2021. So do that, um, check the requirements and make sure that you prepare it as fast as you can because the goal is for you to submit your application while you're still here and in case they schedule an interview, you can attend it personally. Um, that's what I did when I was still under the E9 visa. So I ended my 
contract in April of 2018 and I stayed in Korea for like a month or two to submit some applications at different universities. And luckily, before my flight going back to the Philippines, I was scheduled for an interview at Salgang University. And yes, I completed my interview here before going back to the Philippines. And while I was in the Philippines, I waited for the result and I waited for them to recommend me to POSCO for the scholarship. So that's it for our today's video. Uh, thank you so much for sending all your questions. I know that I didn't collect all the questions because it's going to take a lot of time. But if you have other questions that I wasn't able to answer, don't forget to comment below and also share this video with your friends and don't forget to press like and I hope that I was able to help you. So thank you so much again for watching my video. Once again, this is Sherwin. See you next time. Bye!